Hey guys, we're gonna take a look at A7, kind of like bluesy vamp. Funky. So let's just check out our one chord. Here's that A7, some caged kind of inversions. Those are all cool. Like a C shaped, A shaped. That's cool. Here's first inversion. What is that? One diminished. C diminished is the same as A diminished. That was a drop three. Those are good to know, like from F sharp, A, C, E flat. I can do those as drop twos. That's the E flat. C. That's a good way to pivot away and back. So I climbed with diminished chords, A diminished, C, E flat, F sharp, back to A. Let's introduce the five chord. That's pretty cool. E7. I'm gonna extend that backwards and do a two five. Very happy. I'm gonna substitute that two for a sub five of five. I'd use the sub five of the five too. So sub five of five, five, sub five of one, one. Okay, here are some more substitutions for one. C sharp half diminished. That's the same as E minor six. Same as Pretty cool. I can use that guy. What was that? One diminished. So that's a good substitution for that one. Now let's go somewhere else to the fork. What was that? Four, one diminished, back to one. Four. What is that? E minor six. That's just a way, different way of playing one. Cool, now let's check out some five altered. Hendrix, that's the same as B flat 13. That's sub five. Lydian dominant, altered. That's pretty cool. Back to four. One diminished. Five of two. Pretty cool. Okay, now let's take that four chord. Let's make it a Hendrix chord. Ooh, weird. Let's do a tritone sub. Let's grab the root on top. And back. That's what's called like the Joe Pass four chord. Kind of suspends the one in a cool. That's a weird way of turning around, but I like it. How about. What was that? It was one first inversion, flat three diminished, two, sub five, one. Ooh. How about some Coltrane kind of things? So I, 
I basically used flat three dominant to get to a modal interchange sound, sub five and back. That's a pretty cool thing to do. Four. Sub five. That wasn't sub five, that was five of two. Oh, sorry, five of five. So one. So a lot of options. Let's take a look at some more diminished chords. So the diminished chord that comes out of five, half step up diminished. Very churchy. So that's kind of like using G sharp diminished to move to that A7. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that sound. Maybe in low doses. That was pretty cool. Just at the very end. That's okay. Let's see where it is. That one likes to go here. Those are all instead of five. Go into A. How about this one? So now we've covered a lot of the diminished options because we have one diminished going here, seven diminished going here. We have one more diminished. That's C sharp diminished. Now that's going to turn my a7 sound from tonic, from home sounding, to pulling to the four. Really make it a dominant. So C sharp wants to go to D. C sharp diminished. See? So there's a lot of options with these chords. Check it out.